there is this one study I've got. This is really something. Um, I'll just read it to you. Formaldehyde, a potential byproduct of many fragrances found in air fresheners, as these fragrances are emitted into air and react with the compounds in air, such as ozone. While formaldehyde is less and less used as a direct ingredient in air fresheners, it is often emitted when fragrance ingredients called terpenes react with the ozone in the air and they germ generate the formaldehyde. Continuous or semi-continuous use of air fresheners can therefore generate consistent levels of formaldehyde in the air over regular use. Well, I just said that, but this is what gets really crazy. The generation of formaldehyde by fragranced products, including air fresheners, has been proven and published in the peer-reviewed literature, including Brett Singer et al. in 2006 in Indoor Secondary Pollutions from Cleaning Product and Air Freshener Use in the Presence of Ozone, published in Atmospheric Environment, Volume 40, pages 6,696, blah, blah, blah. Um, Singer proves that a typical air freshener can produce up to 11 parts per billion. Let's think about this math as we go through. 11 parts per billion of formaldehyde in the presence of ozone. That amount adds, note the word adds, to the typical levels of formaldehyde found in conventional homes, which is 14 parts per billion. So in your typical home, let's say you have a typical home, you have 14 parts per billion of formaldehyde in the air. In a manufactured home, you know these manufactured homes, you know the, what I'm talking about, like a trailer put together, you know, 27 parts per billion. Add 11 to 27, or 11 to your home, that's not manufactured, um, 14. And that's according to the National Resources Defense Council, or the NRDC. Many regulatory agencies advocate set limits for inhaling formaldehyde over long or chronic periods at two parts per billion. Didn't I just say the regular home was 14? And then with, we are reacting air fresheners with ozone, we get 11 more. Well, I don't know how you add 11 and 14 together, but that seems to be like it's 25 to me. That's certainly over two. Now, that's by the California Environmental Protection Agency, okay? Now, well, what, well the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, they say, well, only eight parts per billion. You can stand up to eight parts per billion. Well, we're still over when we're in the home without the air fresheners, okay, because they were at 11. Well, then we get into the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health Hazards, and they say, oh, we can take up to 16 parts per billion. So we have several different regulatory agencies looking at this. Well, the regular home is 14. If we have an air freshener, then that's 25. The manufactured home is 27 plus 11. That's 38. Even at the 16, we're still over. Formaldehyde, there is absolutely no question about formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogen. And so it's not a matter of if it will cause cancer, it's just when your cancer is going to appear. It's like, ooh, that is not nice. Um, there are many others. Tetrachloroethylene, that is another very, very common chemical. Tetrachloroethylene is rated as a number one carcinogenic substance by the Environmental Protection Agency. Not only is it in perfumes, but it's in your aerosol paint concentrates. Because I'm just talking about perfumes, but think about all the other stinky things we have in our life. Here are some of them. Aerosol paint concentrates, agricultural chemicals, automobile po body polish and cleaners, furniture polish and cleaners. Do you know you spray with your furniture polish and your cleaners? This all has this tetrachloroethylene in it. Household hard surfaces with aerosols or liquid cleaners. Household rug and upholstery cleaners insecticides for crawling insects, insecticides for flying insects, laundry starch preparations. Ever you use your spray starch to iron your clothes? Got a tetrachloroethylene uh, in it. Lubricating greases, miscellaneous paint-related uh, uh, products, art materials including clay and tempera, tempera colors, finger paint. Ever had your kids painting with finger paint? They're breathing in carcinogenic substances. Laundry aids, including ironing aids and dry cleaning, spotting pre um, preparations, polishing preparations, rubber floors and wall coverings and wainscots and oven cleaners and rug and uh, scatter rugs and bath mats and textile finishes and waterproofing compounds. That's just all with one of the most volatile tetrachloroethylene is one of the most volatile substances we have. 
Oh, and there's more. There's 1,3-butadiene. There's benzoepyrene. There's 4,4-prime-methylbis-chloroaniline. I mean, I could go and read all these long chemical names. And where are they written on your product? Nowhere. 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 